This video will contain spoilers. Consider yourself warned. We're now at the second to last episode of The Serpent Queen Season 2, with just one more episode left before the season concludes and the finale airs on stars. Typically, penultimate episodes set up what's ahead in the finale, and I believe The Serpent Queen Season 2 Episode 7 did just that. Let's go over everything that happened in this episode. The Andrew Problem Catherine's attempt to arrange a marriage between King Charles and Queen Elizabeth falls apart when she discovers that Charles is terminally ill with consumption. With Charles's condition worsening, Catherine looks to Andrew as an alternative suitor. However, Andrew's plans are derailed when Elizabeth and Catherine catch him in the middle of an orgy. This encounter leads Elizabeth to decide to return to England, revealing that she never intended to marry either of the brothers. Her decisions and manipulations are driven by her need to maintain power in a male-dominated world. Before leaving, Elizabeth gives Catherine a document signed by Louis Bourbon, exposing their betrayal. As a result, the Bourbons prioritize their own interests, leaving the palace and aligning themselves with Edith. After an earlier confrontation, Catherine eventually approaches Andrew and tells him that she accepts him as he is and wouldn't change a thing about him. While this seems partly genuine due to her maternal feelings, there may be an underlying reason for her abrupt change of heart that will be revealed in the finale next week. The marriage game. From the beginning of the season, it's been evident that Princess Margot has a strong affection for Francois de Guise. However, unbeknownst to her, Francois is attracted to men and is significantly older than Margot. Despite the age gap, the young princess remains undeterred. When the Catholic League pressures Francois to marry Margot, he initially tries to distance himself from her with harsh words, aiming to shield her from harm. Despite this, he does have a sense of moral responsibility. Francois' manipulative mother is determined not to let the situation go, and she persuades Margot to approach her mother for support. Catherine, Margot's mother, agrees to the proposal at first, but it's evident she has a different plan in mind. This becomes apparent in the final moments of Season 2, Episode 7 of The Serpent Queen. To maintain peace with Edith, Catherine proposes that Margot marry Henry de Guise, Antoine's son, instead. It remains to be seen if this will come to pass, but one thing is certain, Margot will be displeased. Additionally, there's the possibility of Charles marrying the Catholic Sisi of Austria. He has agreed to convert to Protestantism to placate Edith. However, when he and Catherine arrive, Edith claims to have had a vision indicating Charles is a dying king, casting doubt on the benefits of this marriage. Catherine then suggests the union between Margot and Henry. Despite these developments, Charles is baptized in the final scenes, and Catherine promises to transfer the regency to Edith once Margot and Henry are wed. The traitors. We learn that Rahima and Catherine's brother, Alessandro, are in a relationship. They discuss how Alessandro not only embezzled money from his sister, but also proposed an investment opportunity in the New World to Queen Elizabeth, intending for Rahima to join him. Catherine witnesses the couple and overhears their conversation, including the betrayal. When questioned about the missing funds, Rahima lies to Catherine. Despite their disagreement in Episode 6, Rujiri remains by Catherine's side. She asks him to reveal what she should be seeing in her visions, which show six traitors surrounding her. The Bourbons, the Guises, Rahima, Alessandro, and Montmorency, who was recently baptized by Edith. The identity of the sixth traitor may be a child, but we'll likely find out in the Serpent Queen Season 2, Episode 8. So there you have it all. What do you think about this episode? Do share your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe for more. I will see you next.